Welcome to another of our weekly times of prayer. It's my pleasure to be able to lead us again in this time of prayer. I have the Christ candle beside me to remind us of Christ's presence with, as we meet. And also it's resting on the table with the prayer shawl, which I've used before. So let us come before God in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pause our lives and focus our minds on you for this time of prayer. Lord, we humbly ask that in your mercy you hear our prayer, the prayers of your people. Over the last ten days, we look at our world with dismay. We've seen two more deaths of black men at the hands of police in the United States. We've seen peaceful protests and protests descend into violence, damage, fires and looting. And Lord, we've seen signs of hope. White police officers and black men arm in arm. Lord God, we pray for government leaders and community leaders, for law enforcement officers and for the general public, that they may work together, that they might find a path forward to address racial prejudice and inequality, disadvantage and poverty, and opportunity for education, training and employment for all. We pray for a gradual work towards a transformation of the situation there in the United States of America. Lord, we long for the day when all will be equal and there is mutual respect and trust. Gracious God, we know that we have work to do in Australia. We have Indigenous Australians dying in custody. In Aboriginal communities and in Aboriginal people groups, there are poor people, people trapped in poverty, with poor health outcomes, poor educational opportunities and poor employment outcomes. We know, Lord, that our Aboriginal people are more likely to be locked up to spend time in jail. And this can happen from quite a young age. Lord, we want to break this cycle. Grant to us the courage, the determination and the strength to bring meaningful change. Lord, help us to work together to break down all racial prejudice and intolerance in Australia, that we may be one that we may be one people. Gracious God, we continue to pray for countries struggling to contain the COVID-19 virus. We pray for countries in South America, places like Brazil, where many are sick and many deaths have occurred. And that is their sad reality. So we pray for health workers in those countries, for leaders, for government leaders. And we pray for a bringing under control of the spread of the virus. We pray for those who mourn, who feel despair and sadness. And we pray for all who work for improved public health in those countries. We pray for other countries like India, and Indonesia with large populations, many people in poverty or finding enough work to just meet the needs of each day and for people living in such densely populated cities in close proximity. We pray for those who work for in, in the health systems in those countries, who work in public health, and we pray for government leaders. Lord, we pray for the Australian government and for our state leaders, for health officials and health workers, as important decisions are made, as important work is continued. 
We know, Lord, that over the weekend we've seen reports of people still waiting for help following the January bushfires. Lord, we pray that where there's blockages of help, where people are being missed out, that those issues will be addressed. Lord, help us to be a generous, compassionate and supportive society and country. Loving God, we give thanks for your church. We pray for ministers, leaders and members. We pray for unity and for the strength and patience in these challenging times of churches being closed. Loving God, help your church to be a beacon of light and hope in the communities where there is a church planted. Help your church to really show your love, your grace, your compassion. Help your church to really live what it believes and to be a place uh, for transformed lives, to bring transformation and change, to bring hope. We pray for our loved ones, our friends, and for those who are known to us, who might be sick, who might be struggling with life, who might be facing unemployment, or an uncertain future. We pray for students going back to school, for teachers and for families. We pray for them in these uncertain times. We are so thankful, Lord, that the spread of the COVID-19 virus has not been too extensive in Australia. We give thanks for our leaders and for the diligence of community members. But help us, Lord, to maintain the focus that we might all move out of this period of lockdown well and healthy. We pray for businesses and their owners where the businesses are really struggling. Lord, hear these prayers. And we pray in silence for those for whom we wish to pray. Loving and merciful God, hear these the prayers of your people as we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this time of prayer. Look forward to uh, leading us again next week. May God bless you. Amen.